Rack. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Today we're reviewing Death of Wolverine number two. Yep. Oh man. By Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. So excited were we about Death of Wolverine number one, we figured, you know what, let's just do the whole damn series. So from here on out, if you're watching off the rack and another issue of Death of Wolverine comes out, you can bet your boots we'll be reviewing it. Not not the months to die, because that was no, shit. Those, but those the actual death yeah, of the actual death of Let's crack this back and oh. Oh, Damn it, Rocket! It is! Rocket's it's our back. favorite ad! At least it doesn't say the freaking end. At least it's not trying to strike a tone. Yeah. But still. I mean, it kind of is, because it's doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, the tone is, did. check out this awesome action figure of Rocket <laughs> Raccoon! I mean, the book is right, it says poison. I have zany sounds and a light-up blaster. Yeah. I also like that they kept the green with the yeah. sketches. Yeah. But like, it's sketches from the first book. Yeah. Oh, it, oh yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. I really love the cover, obviously, well, again. That kind of tells me that the art in this book is not nearly as dynamic or impactful as the art from the first you book. You think? Because they, cause they couldn't Cause they find sketches it? to put in the front? Yeah. I should say this. I don't think they had this powerful of a scene. Well, was, yeah, I would agree with that. I, I think that there were some great moments in this book that held up just as well as the first one. It's just that the first one had more exterior shots. There's more opportunity for like more angles, more brightness, more different varying colors. Um, mm. This is a much more different tonal book than yeah. the first one, but still in keeping with the story. Uh, which, speaking of which, let's kick off with the writing. What do you guys think of the writing of Death of Wolverine number two? I thought it was good. I thought it was consistent with the first book and mm -hmm. and uh, moves the story along at a good pace. Yeah. Um, but without like being confusing and skipping things like some books tend to do. No, so it's true. Yeah. I thought it was a it thought it was a solid entry. The death of Wolverine. Uh, yeah. Sequence. Considering this is a few weeks or a few months later, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. like the fact that Wolverine sounds different. Mm -hmm. Wolverine's voice is different in this in this book than it was in the first book. One is because you're not supposed to know it's Wolverine in the beginning. Yes. Right, right. And, and two, he's finally coming to terms with the fact that he doesn't heal. Yeah. So when he's fa when he's facing poison or Ivy or uh, Viper. Viper, Viper, who has poison. Right. When he's facing she Viper, is poison. like he's definitely sounded different than when you he's know the Patriot was coming after yeah. him. He's going on the attack now. Yeah. So he's on a totally different like. But even then, he, it, he sounds reserved. Because I think he's trying to preserve his life. He realizes that he can die. He's much more thoughtful. He's really like mm. those the, those captions where he's like telling you what he's smelling or yeah. what, he, what he senses. Yeah. Like it's him kind of taking in the room and figuring out how he's going to like own it. Yeah, which I think is really great. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's providing you some insight into like what's going on. Yeah, and what's going yeah. on in his head. What's he's uh, and his his change, the change in his tactics. Mm -hmm. This is a veritable smorgasbord of like. Wolverine, who's who's? You got Viper, you got Lady Deathstrike, you got Kitty Pride, yeah. uh, Sabretooth. Can't forget Sabretooth because you had that awesome Sabretooth Wolverine fight. You got two of them for the price of one. You got the first one where it's like what it would have been like right. in every Wolverine book you've ever read. Yep. And then you have the one where he loses his fucking eye. <laughs> yeah. Which is really badass and cool. Like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's screwed now. What's going to happen now? I fully expected. Sabretooth to be the main problem. Mm. The fact that they that they shoehorned him in kind of into the issue two and like had him have that big knockout like drag down fight with Sabretooth mm -hmm. and then get rid of him says to me that like there's bigger challenge to the head. Wolverine fighting Sabretooth without his healing factor should have been the ultimate contest. Yes. We also found out there's a long there's a bigger plot going on where like not only is Wolverine being hunted but right. Like other healers are being hunted. Right. Other people with a healing factor. Because they're going after Wolverine and Lady Deathstrike and some others. Yeah, and yeah, others, which really... I know they're going to come up in this book. Yeah. I mean, technically, they went after Sabretooth too. It's just yes, Viper held on to him. That's, That's right. true. So, okay, they're healers. Yeah. Um, and they're directly and characters Wolverine. from Wolverine books. Yes. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's, Fair. Let, let's, let's move into the art. What did you guys think of the art for this issue? Uh, I thought it was great. I thought um, it to me it wasn't depicting as interesting scenes or as badass scenes. They're, inter they're interesting scenes, but not as badass. Um, but what it was doing was great. Yeah. I especially liked Wolverine at the beginning. Oh, that double page where he's yeah. sitting at the bar with the yes. chicks. I thought that was, that was really cool. awesome. Yeah. I don't know why. I was just like, this is a really cool image, and it's just of Wolverine, you know, being the most interesting man in the world. Yeah. Yes. The Iron Man helmet was awesome. I love the little, like, yeah. 
I liked the view from the Iron Man helmet. Yeah, it shows you. Like, what you can read all the little things. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. That nice. was a nice touch. Yeah, it was. I loved seeing Kitty Pride. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Because Kitty Pride and Wolverine are very interconnected. Uh, not that they're like sleeping together, it's more like. They're both she, animal names again. Yeah. <laughs> she used to be like his sidekick. Okay. Back when like they first started that whole thing, mm -hmm. and then like eventually Kitty got too old, and then they got they they linked up Wolverine and Jubilee. So Death of Wolverine number two in our ongoing do we rate this analysis of Not yet. we didn't rate it Death of Wolverine. I'm about to fucking oh, ask you. Oh, I thought you, you were wrapping up. Yeah, I am wrapping up, and we're gonna wrap <laughs> it up with the review of the book. How would you guys rate this book? One being the uh, worst worst book you've ever read, and ten being the best book you've ever read. I give it an eight, uh, one notch below the last one, just because I didn't quite have as much fun with this book. Because mm -hmm. Wolverine wasn't as much of a badass. In fact, he got his ass kind of kicked. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the only real complaint. Yeah, yeah. great book. Uh, I guess I give this a seven. Uh, it's still a great book. I like it. It's too below my last score, just because I wanted more to happen in it, and. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, but it, this didn't reveal a ton for me. Actually, you know what? I would bump this up to an 8 because of all the, the appearances. Mm -hmm. By Yuriko, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that Sabretooth comes in for the fight, the fact that Kitty Pride comes in at the end. And he's got Iron Man's Viper. Helmet. Don't forget right. Viper. Well, she was our favorite. Who love Viper? <laughs> Star of uh, the Wolverine. The Wolverine. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's say an 8. I give this a 9. Uh, pretty much the same as the last issue, but I had a little bit more fun. Just because we were Madripoor, we're seeing the characters that love Wolver like that I love seeing with Wolverine. And I don't even know what Madripoor is. Madripoor is a, 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 an ever moving island of dis of disrepute. Okay. I literally thought it was just an island in like the Southeast Pacific. Where yeah, it's, like, it's Madripoor. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes you know, and sometimes it moves. Yeah, but like normal. That's cool. Yep. That way you can never really go to Madripoor and like stop all the li illicit activity going on. Uh, How do the bad guys find it? Uh, they, mm, don't ask these questions. Anyway, Death of Wolverine number two, you can pick it up at your local comic book store or online. Uh, I, of course, recommend the tangible copy because uh, it's got more extras, same as last time, but you still get a little bit of an insight into the writing process, the sketching process. Not nearly as many, yeah. but still some. And I really like the, the color scheme. It's still using images from the first book, but I really love just that green tint. I don't know, it just yeah. does something about it. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, got the, the, the solid cover, yeah, the, the iridescent stiffer. cover. And the iridescent cover. Yeah, I love it. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. See you next time. Let's put this on the rack. On the rack. Is or don't on the rack? put it on the rack. Is Take it, it home. Rack? Good or bad? Is it a bad? negative? I, I don't remember. know. I say keep this off the rack and bring it with us. Yeah. Take cool. it off the rack yeah. and bring it and home. Bring with it you. home. Pay money to buy this book. It's yeah. very complicated. You can hear the words in the book. Does the book speak to you? Said. <laughs> <laughs>